All right, guys, so the weekend's here, and we got a lot of work planned for it. The goal for today is to get all the sides sanded down and hopefully some primer. All right, excuse the fans I got running, but just a quick status update. The whole right-hand side is done. The front is done. And I have about 80% of this done here. I wound up finding a hole right here. It smashed into something, so I fixed that with a rivet and some sealant. Okay, so it's had its final sand down. Now it's gonna get its rinse off. I'm going to rinse it down with some simple green to get all the grease off. All right, well, there it is. Prepped and cleaned. I'm going to let this sit out here in the sun to dry while I run to the store, get a can of acetone. Okay, the boat is back in the garage after having time to dry outside, doing the degreaser with the simple green. I picked up a can of uh, acetone from Walmart. It was about six bucks. It's also pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll have links to all the products I use in the description if you guys want it. Um, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the whole boat down with vinegar. I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to dry and etch the surface. And then I'm gonna come back with the acetone and do the final wipe down and prep. The primer we'll be using is Rust-Oleum marine coatings primer price was right it should work pretty well for the project a lot of prep went into this the whole outside of the boat has been sanded down at this point all right so now i'm gonna wipe it i'm gonna spray it down with vinegar to let it etch All right, so final wipe down with acetone is now complete. I went through one wipe down with the paper towels and I pulled a lot of dirt off. Went back a second time, the acetone. Then I did a third pass with a microfiber cloth because the paper towel was actually leaving some bits behind. I'm assuming it was from rubbing on the rough aluminum. So it kind of just started falling apart on me. So the last wipe down with the microfiber cleaned all the little particles off. Now I'm about to mix up the primer and get started on painting. coat of primer is on it actually went on really easy I didn't have any issues with it uh, a method that I used that worked really well is I went down the side and I hit every rivet with a brush and kind of just swirled it around the brush to coat the rivet um, the roller was not getting the rivets very nice uh, after that I went through and rolled the center beam then I rolled everything else 
So hitting the rivets and the edges first made rolling everything else much easier. Both sides got really good coverage. So now this has to dry for 24 hours. So tomorrow night, I'll be doing the top coat. All right, guys, today's the day. We're putting the final coat on. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum top side paint. I'm going with gloss white. I've been shaking this up for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to be rolling it with a four inch foam roller. I got this whole set off Amazon. This is a really cool set. It came with the handle and I think about at this point, probably eight to 10 rollers and the tray. I mean, it had everything I needed to do this bottom coating and the primer and then now it's gonna have more than enough to do the outside. And then I still have three more left for when I do the interior. So really happy with this set. It was like eight bucks or something like that. About to start applying the final coat. All right, guys, well, the first coat is on. It went on pretty well. I started by rolling and tipping it, but the brush, it was getting so tacky so quick that the brush was actually just pulling the paint off and not doing what it was supposed to be doing. So I ended up using the brush to paint around the rivets and then the roller to kind of smooth everything out. This paint lays down really, really well. So it actually smoothed out nicely. Um, I do have some runs around the rivets that was hard to avoid. I had to keep coming back and cleaning them up, but a couple got left. And then once they dry too much, you can't really get them off. But overall, it went on really well. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give it a quick sanding with 320 grit paper just to uh, smooth out anything that I see. And then we're gonna put our second and final coat on tomorrow. Okay guys, it's day two. I now have a base coat on the entire boat. I ended up painting the bottom because I didn't like the difference in color of the epoxy. I like how that made the whole color nice and uniform. Um, I just went through and did some very light sanding with some 1200 grit on any of the high spots that I saw. Um, today is gonna be the final coat. I'm hoping this smooths everything out. That's where we're at now. I'm about to go throw on this last coat and I'll update when it's done. All right, well, unfortunately, I lost all my footage from after I did the final coat. I have no idea what happened, but this actually gives me an opportunity to show you guys how the paint has held up um, over the last month or so since it's been painted. Here's how the paint's looking. I'm trying to avoid showing you guys too much of what I have coming up, but overall, the paint has held up really well. I've unfortunately scratched the, the bottom up a couple times, working out some issues with the trailer. There's been no issues with the paint overall. I love the gloss white. It really has a killer gloss to it. Honestly, it was a really good paint. I'm glad I picked it. If anyone was thinking about just doing the regular gloss white enamel, uh, this is definitely glossier. I did the inside of the boat with the gloss white enamel. It's gonna be the next video that comes out. So I'll be able to show you guys that. But overall, the painting and the process worked really well. I was really happy with it. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the John Boat build, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.